They are, well, they won 71 games last year, and they have them at 66 and a half this year. I, I think they're thinking the Mets are going to get better. Um, that seems like a, did they get, did they get that much worse? Did the Marlins get worse? It was a five game swing. But like 70 games means like, oh, we weren't all, my eyes are pretty bad. There's just some bad teams in the league. Yeah. Here. I'm going to make my decision on one stat that I'm looking up right now. And it's uh, the sprint speed of the Nationals. And if they're, mm. if they're good or bad. Uh, Garrett's above average. Abrams is fast. Lane Thomas is really fast. Young Jacob. Lane Thomas is good. Uh, I'm going to take the, the I'm going to take the over. <clears throat> my thought process is with teams um, like the Pirates last year or Cincy who have this young talent that can run in the new baseball world. They can run themselves into wins with just like kind of athleticism. And I think there is some young, quick athleticism here. And hopefully it's a fun watch. Again, I don't think they're going to have a winning record or be have them finishing four, fifth. But I'll take the over. The so. over under is the same as the Cleveland Guardians. Oh, seventy under. eight and a half. Under. <laughs> I don't think the Mets are gonna be that bad again. I think the Phillies are gonna be better in the regular season wise uh than they were last year. And I think the Braves are gonna be just as fucking awesome. So I think the division's gonna get harder and I don't think they got much better. Eighty two and a half. Yes. That's literally do you think they're gonna make the wild card like the playoffs or not? Like that's the line. How many teams won 83 games and weren't in the playoffs last year? One, maybe? Cubs won 83, didn't make the postseason. If you won, if you, last year, if you won 84, you were in the postseason. So I have the Mets winning 83 uh, soundly, so I'll take the over. I don't think the Marlins are going to win that many games this year, and they came in third and won 84. So if that's what happens, then just flip the Mets and the Marlins for me. Okay. You guys aren't going to like this line. Okay. 90 a real, and a half. It's 90 and a half. And Is it really? Yeah. Just, yes. I this team just doesn't want to win over 90 games. I mean, like. I'm going to take the over. I'm going to jump the gun on this one. I think the rest of the division is not there. Like, I don't know what the Mets are doing. They got a lot of pieces. I think they're going to try and trade at the deadline, as we said on their show. If Yuri Perez is out, the Marlins are kind of like uh, Sandy and Yuri out. They still got arms, I know. But that was, like, scaring me. Or at least we can make them a real threat. So I, I think the Phillies are the chasing team. I don't know if they're going to beat the Braves, but I think you'll have two teams, 90-plus wins in the division. You kind of you just convinced me right there. I'll take the over as well. I don't know how, how over it's going to get. Have to do this to the Braves because I just did it to the Dodgers. I'm trying to uh, even myself out. I'm going under. I think they win 100 games. What are you trying to do to yourself? Eat himself out. I'm going under as well. I'm trying to eat Trev out. I'm going to take the under. <laughs> okay. I don't really want you to do that. Just a little. Or I thought that I thought we were on the same team. Just a little. Well, you are. You went from Prince Albert to that. Like, Braves fans are just. I actually. Pushing this I over. really actually do think this is going to be the over. So what are you guys picking? I pick the under. Yeah, I'm going to take the over. So you're under Braves Dodgers. Same reason yes. I took the Phillies over. I think the yes. NL East is going to be two-team rest. I don't see that one happening. I think they're going to trade their relievers, and that might be their best unit right now. Well, the top end of it. Yeah. <laughs> Bednar, Chapman, Holderman. They, they can give you a couple months there, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go uh, under on this one. If the Cardinals had a normal season last year, this line would be, what, 90, 89? And it's Probably. 84 and a half. So I'll, I'll believe in it. Over. I'm also over. I'm also over. Oh, kiss of death. It's tough, I know. Sorry, Cardinals fans. 82 and a half is the number here. I'm going to take the under. Wow. I got to see it. I just think last year was crazy that they had two months where everyone was going off. And now we're going to get a whole year where like, or more than that going off again when like sophomore slumps are more common than freshman flukes. You know, 
I've seen my share of Mike Talkman's come up, take the lead by storm. Still is. Yeah, but he went back down and, and back lead up. off for the Cubs. What's that over under at? I'm going to take the over. 76 and a half. And I'm going to take the over as well. And this is going to be my lock. So make sure you put that in the mm. notes. BB. Put We're it going in the to notes. win over 76 games. I believe in Pat. I believe in Pat. This team has accidentally stumbled into 10 games better than that in their worst it's 16 years. 16 off of what they did last year. I understand there's some people that are gone from the team, but 16 games? Okay, well, Corbin accounts for five games. Okay. Council, 20. F- right. 50, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. And then you got to find someone that they got better by getting rid of. Right. And math. Donaldson. Um, <sighs> wow. The line, the line feels low. Uh, I think it's a, it's a sweep of, of an over. Um, Craig Council's worth seven. Craig Council's worth seven mm. games. Totally forgot. Over you seven war council. <laughs> I'll take the over on the Cubbies. You know, the Giants want to go. The Padres want to go. The Snakes are going. The Dodgers have gone. That I. Well, that's where I think I disagree with you. I think the Padres and Giants both are taking a step back in their pitching rotations. Hmm. Uh, I think the Giants are taking a step back in their rotation. Well, they have a reliever that they're starting as a starter, as their four. Hicks, Robbie Ray at midseason. Robbie Ray at midseason, I, I didn't. Alex I've, Cobb at some point. They yeah, but they don't him. have those guys. They had Cobb last year for 28 starts. But they'll get him. Um, they had, uh, what am I blanking on? Like, Stripling's going to start more. I don't know. I don't, I don't think either of them are contenders this year. Okay. I think it's Dodgers, Diamondbacks, those two, then the Rockies. But if the Rockies can win some games at home, like play to their strengths, which they should be able to do, and um, I don't know, I'll just bet on uh, Chris Bryant being good. I'll take the over. Maybe just playing the odds game since both of you guys are on the under. But like that. But, yeah, I mean, the Padres are losing Cy Young winner. They weren't that great last year. Lost a lot of close games. So I'm going to take the Rockies. That's the Rockies. They're going to win 62 games. So what do you think it is, huh? What, what do you think it is? 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 I think it's exactly what everyone thinks it is. Should be like I know 500, right? 81 and a half. <laughs> yeah. Now, can we, is there any caveat here to like, can we, can we revisit if they sign Monty or Snell? Or Chapman? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I and think, we've put, we've put things before. It's say like, well, if they sign this guy, I'll go over. Because I'd say if they don't land any of those three, I'm going to take the under. And if they land one of those three, I'm going to take the over. Okay. I mm. like that thinking. If they land a pitcher. I, I don't think they're going to take, I don't think they're going to land Snell. I think Montgomery fits the profile a little bit better. Uh, doesn't cost him a draft pick. I still like that things. though. Cause Monty's pretty steady. Like he's just going to give Monty you innings. I know I do too. Yeah. So if they land Monty or Snell, I'll, I'll go over, but if they don't, I'm, I'm going to go under cause the, the rotation is yeah, it, I don't, right now. I, they don't have a rotation. What if I told you to expect a lot more stolen bases of third base? Would that change your mind? I like taking the extra base, James. I do, but it would not. Last year, the Padres, they were 137 rate plus at stealing third base. They were upper echelon. And Mike Schilt loves it. Mm. Every time he's been a manager, his team has been a third base stealing team. Okay. I'm going to take the under. I don't like uh, the rotation situation, nor the managerial situation, nor the clubhouse vibes. Mm, a threefer. Yeah. I love the defense. Just throw that ball and let him go get it. Like, if these if this team and these young pitchers are walking people, I think you got to be like, yo, look behind you. We have gloves. Infield and outfield. Put it in the zone. Jim? I'm going to take the over, I think... You know, and I'm. This is going to be a wrong opinion, but the West could finish in the same order. Is that crazy? As last year, Giants ahead of Padres. That were the Padres and Giants. Yeah, so maybe flip the Padres and the Giants, or maybe there's this all- the NL Midwest. Well, the D, the Dodgers won 100, and then the Diamondbacks won 84 last year. Uh, so I think they could win 
more than 84. So I'm going to take the over. Feels like the team got better. Um, and they're hungry. They want to go back. They don't want to be like the 2015 Giants. I mean, I'm hammering the under. It's a crazy line. I'm not, I'm not going to give anyone that many I think wins. it was the same last year, James, and they crushed it. No, they didn't. When was that, the year before? Last year, they fit, they were 95-5 over. And the year before, 97-5, they, that was an over. 101-5 in 2021. and I, That's over. They won like 111. I mean, that's, maybe that's what I was thinking. I don't know. Anyway, 103? Take that's crazy. Go. They'll probably do it. But, uh, you know, I'm a stubborn man. They got to show me they can do it. That's Vegas. That's Otani effect. I thought I was going under. You can go under. Sweep the under on the Dodgers. This tra- That's James, this, you don't know Vegas yet. You're not betting trap. against the trap. The, the, the line is high. By Vegas. The line is high. We got trapped by Vegas, James. Unfortunately, I think Vegas knows what they're doing. That's mm. a pretty dang good number there. I think they do improve a little bit over that 50 and 112, 56 and a half. <laughs> Sheesh. Quite a bit of room. Somebody else go first. Uh, I'm taking the under. <laughs> I'm taking the under. I mean, I don't see much. I don't see much desire to hit the over. It's just, they, it's they tough. want, it's they a want, tough situation. they want draft picks and they want to like, they're, they are looking at 2028. They want to get to Vegas with some guys. And we're still a pretty long ways away from that. Like, even the guys on this roster will be in their second Arb years by the time oh, they're in Vegas, which means they're not going to Vegas. <laughs> and as a reminder to the people listening, they finished last year 73 and 89. Yeah. On August 1st, I believe they were on pace for 85 wins. And then it, it's just like, oh, my God, crap. Down. Uh, August, August and September, 8-19, Yeah. Yikes. After they decided to keep Shohei, 8-19, and 8-19. and 19. Yeah. April, 15-13. and 13. May, 15-13. and 13. June, 14-13. and 13. July, 12-11. and 11. You know, it's four months of above 500 ball on pace for 85 wins, and then it just, the last two months. And now, in September, I don't even really count because once they were out, they, you know, they retraded Giolito. But that and August. Shohei was out. Shohei was out and Trout was out. But that August is brutal. Um, so what's the number? 71? 71 and a half. My only dilemma here is like, where do I think they finish in the division? And what's the highest we're going to get out of, you know, a potential fourth, fifth in the division? Like the Rangers are good. The Astros are good. The A's stink. Yes. And the Mariners are good. And I took the under on the A's, so that helps me out here. They're giving some wins away. They finished fourth last year at 73, and this is 71. I'm taking the over. I just, I had the A's losing more games than they won last year. Bring up a good point about, like, I fully expect the Rangers and the Astros to go get the help they need at the deadline, and I have no faith in the Mariners doing that. They've traded away a bunch of times when they're in it. Remember they traded Graveman in the division when they're in it? Last year yes. they traded Seawald? Damn. Fuck. Jake, Jake won me over with his point there. No. Take the under. Trev Seattle. You know what? It's not against the team or you the fans. You love their pitching. I like the top three. Okay. I like the top three. Okay. I forgot that I, I need to see Bryce Miller Throw a different pitch. Rice Miller. If Matt Chapman signs, do you guys care at all? Does it change your mind? Mm. I think it actually would. Yeah, maybe. So what's the over under at? ALCS? I'm taking the, I'm pushing green there. 92 and a half. 190 games last year. Mm. Yeah, it's actually a good line because I do think they're a team that just needs, they just need to get there. Like, I don't... I go... Like, the Rangers might be like, let's win the fucking division this year, and the Astros might do the Phillies thing where they're like, all right, whatever. I went through the history, okay? Because I wanted to make sure 
the relationship's doing okay. I took the over on the Astros in 2021. I was correct. I took the over on the Astros in 2022. I was correct. I took the over on the Astros in 2023. I was incorrect. And I feel scorned. Mm. So I'm taking the under. Because they did me dirty last year. Supposed to just fall in. But I, it's the over. I, I'm taking the over. Oh, I'm taking the over. Yeah. I don't believe in the under. I figured you guys I don't believe in the under, under at all. Uh, what did I do for the Mariners? Do you know, Beebs? Yes, the Mariners. You were under. Jake was under. Trev was over. 87 and a half. Oh, shit. I'm taking the Rangers, baby. I set myself up perfectly. Shit. Pitching versus hitting. Combine those two teams. Ooh. Under on the Mariners? Oh, boy. Yeah, you you said Matt Chapman would change your mind. They didn't get okay. him. Okay. They didn't get him. Yeah, the whole AL Central might be just in the 70 range. Yeah, like 180 team, 85, maybe 165, and then 370s. I think the Tigers and the, and the Twins are going to be in the 80s. I think one of, them, one of them will be in the 80s. And one of them could be okay. in the low 80s. One of them could be in the low 90s, James. Twins are going to be a good team this year. Mm. Well, if that's the case, then I'm going to take the under. But I don't know okay. if that's the case. But I haven't deep dove on the Twins yet. We're only on the White Sox. Makes it harder. Could change my mind later on. Um, I don't know. Am I taking all overs? <clears throat> I'll take the under. Burn it down. That's a dog frog. Yeah. Yeah. You got it. Nailed, Nailed it. it. <laughs> that was quick. I'll, I'll bat lead off. Uh, All right, which, I'll take the under. Which I I hope uh, the Royals find their lead off guy. Twenty seventh in starter ERA, 29th in bullpen ERA. Go to whip if you want. There's just not a lot of ways to butter knife a. Listen, we don't have to harp on it. I'd taken the under, but I think the Royals fans should be happy that they're going to take a step up from the fifty six yes. wins. I don't know where that well, seventy three and a half came from. It's basically, teams. what I'm trying to say. Hey, if they win seventy two games this year. That's nice. That's delightful. And then you trade some people, you get some more prospects. So you're having yourself a season. Here's the thing. Right. I'm getting seesaw. I'm getting tug of ward back and forth. Uh, Never did get those weather splits. How am I supposed to make my informed mm. decision? The weather splits were tricky. And Always. I, I will be using them. I don't know if they apply to the Tigers that much. Um. But I, I, well, I was in there and I was having fun. There, <laughs> they were like they were mi- middle of the pack in cold games under forty degrees. Okay. Offensively, they were like a ninety three OPS plus, so they were below average, but not like awful. But they have more at bats, so I don't know how you grade all that out. I'm going over. I uh, eighty two. I've been going. Wins. I've been going first on these. Um, uh, James, did you say over? Uh, yeah, eighty two and a half wins. Jeez, guys, sweep it. Well, we all went under last year, and we were all wrong. What's their schedule? That's what I want to look at. Just for a, a brief second. I'm, I'm with you. Like, I just think they got some – I feel like they can get off to a hot start. That's why I want to look at their schedule. And then it's, then it's just what do they do with that as a front office and, like, directionally. I do really like their pitching. And we're recording this earlier, obviously, but if they, like, break camp with that rotation, I, I like that. The only um, thing is – Oh, they got an easier know. April than other teams. Over. Okay. I'm Kent to my head of Stan. Always have been. Tiger now. Now he's in I'm, I'm mad at him because he just didn't know who the fuck I was. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm taking the under. I think they got up. worse. Okay. It's a good line. I'll say that. Because there's also another argument, like, if they had to keep up with a team in the Central, <laughs> maybe they could push it to 88 wins, too. They got more hopeful in certain areas, and that's very exciting. But I don't like the rotation and changes at all. Or it turns out the vibes in Minnesota land, according to Trev's report on the vibes. The, twi- the fans no, vibes are upset. in the clubhouse are immaculate. They have, they have a I'm, very, no, no, very I'm, good clubhouse. I'm but talking the about Twins, the, the Twins yes. Nation. Yeah, I thought Twins Nation was like, we're going to win this division. Everyone else stinks. Turns out Twins Nation is like, we should win the division. Everyone else stinks. Why aren't you guys doing anything? So I'm with, I'm a, I am Twins Nation. That's the sentiment. In Twins Nation right now. It's Twins Territory. I'll back all the Twins fans and take the under. Can you say Twins Territory? Twins Territory. Thank you. That's like such a mouthful. What's the uh, what's the OU here? Under. What is it? 80 and a half. The same as the Detroit Tigers who we just did. 
I think they can do that. It's a good line, but I got to go under. I need the Yankees to win. This is a, mm. this is a biased uh, Yankee fan pick. And also, I think, somewhat honest. They were, they were under last year, right? They were under last and year. And I don't necessarily think they got better. I'll take the really over. Talk it. You're taking the over? Okay. I think they're good. They had one bad month last year. That kind of kind of ruined them having like a really good year. It was May. They're the top okay. six of their offense I like. You just need Vladdy to Vladdy and um Turner to go off. What's the number? Can you, just say over. Just say over. Over. Eighty four and a half. What are we doing? Is this a trap? What is, is there it? a new rule coming in the middle what of the season? What did they put? I mean, Jake and I, but Jake and I just both reach for our phone immediately. It's eighty four and a half. What the that's fuck what, are we doing? Says. Wait, is that for real? Oh my god, and it's decent odds. I might just empty the account. What is the odds? Is it juiced? It's minus minus one hundred five. Oh my, eighty four and a half. Empty. Is account. this the year we're talking about? Hey, man, if it is, I'm willing to lose a bet on it, but it's not. It's not. It's just not. It's the 95-win team. Oh, my goodness. That's so they stupid. They won 99 games last year. Undefeated April. Where did they go in April? 22-6? and six? How much did you bet That's on it? I emptied my... I, I, Honest for the people, I had $95 in there. I bet $95 on it. I, was gonna I do, just didn't want to do a no, new screen. I was going to do 100 but I'll do 95 with you. 95 wins. That's so stupid. You know what? I'd pay $95 to have the Rays not win. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> 85 games. So, like, they got me. Best bet I've ever made. Yeah, I feel great right now. I'm looking right now because on our sheet it's 93 and a half. I'm wondering if they've updated it with the cold news. I'm, I'm, let me get there. Hold on. Why are they not? They're not on. They're not listed right now. Currently, huh. on the DraftKings yeah, website. That makes sense. What do you think that is? So, so we have 93 and a half, but we don't really have a line, a new line, if Garrett Cole is out. So I'll let you guys go. Yeah, that's tough. That's tough because that is tough. Um, what do you think? What do you think the new line would be without the Cole? You know, Cole's out. New line see. is 89, 88? 89 and a half, eighty-eight and a half. Right. Let's do that then. Let's do. Let's let's make our make our own line. I think so because it's going to be updated. This is not ninety-three and a half. Is not going to be the line anymore. They've shown their hand so, that it's going to change. So. I say 80, let's go 89. 89. Or 89 and a, and a half or 88 and a half? 88 and a half. I'll take the over. Blind faith. But they had a good <laughs> amount invested last year, too, and they didn't supplement the lineup at all. Juan Soto was not there. It's I true. Mean, you they didn't have that. Much. They had a lot invested in, like, known dead weight that they just refused to shed. 90.5. So same win total mm. as the Phil's. Yeah, I think over 101 games last year. I don't think they're going to be. I don't think they're going to get that much worse. Um, I I like the offense, and a lot of the offensive players have done it before. Uh, you know, Adley had his rookie of the year, and then he got better, which is not normal. Um, to majority of rookie of the year winners get worse in their second season. It's like Trout, Chris Bryant, and Adley are the only three. That have improved. Uh, he didn't win it though. Uh, he did not win. But anyway, he improved. And a lot of the offense have been four or five years. The pitching scares me because I know Burns is going to be good, but I don't know if all those guys with Bradish out, Means out, those guys are going to be. How good are they going to be? A little more inherently volatile. Yeah. Yeah. Pitching is once you kind of do it as a hitter, you can kind of do it. 